Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronnie George and I'm a registered Indian patent agent. In case you are coming to my channel for the first time, I create videos on IPR and patent related matters. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a demo of international patent classification system. Uh, I have also created a video regarding the introduction to IPC system. Uh, so if you have not checked that, you can check it uh, in my channel. So in this video, what we're going to do is I'll be showing you how to find the appropriate classification code, which you can use for conducting patent search. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So to open the uh, international patent classification flowchart, you have to first open the WIPO website and the link to open WIPO website, which is the World Intellectual Property Organization, is www.wipo.int. Yeah, so once you uh, open the web page, this is how the home page of WIPO looks. So WIPO is a you know, well-renowned IP organization. So it's like it manages the intellectual property of the entire world, right? So there are a lot of, you know, uh, options here, but in today's video, we'll specifically check the uh, international patent classification system, okay? So to open that, you can see the uh, these options above. So in this case, we'll go to find and explore. And in the patent and technology information, we have to go to international patent classification which is commonly known as IPC. So I'll click on it. And the next page that opens is this. So this is the uh, page of international patent classification. And now we want to specifically go to the, you know, hierarchy, the flowchart of the IPC. So I will just click on the access the IPC publication, this blue button here. Okay. So here we are. So this is the you know, hierarchy or you can say the flowchart of the IPC system. So this A to H that we are seeing here in the left is actually the sections. And then on the right, what we are seeing is the definition related to each section. So A, section A stands for human necessities. B stands for performing operations. Similarly, L H stands for electricity. In this case, we'll see how to find the relevant IPC code. So to, to find that, let's take an example. So I am taking the example of a helmet. Okay, uh, so imagine uh, you want to find out patent applications or granted patents related to helmets. And so how will you do? So one is, you know, you will be used to make finding out the keywords and you will be using the keywords to conduct search. But then to make the search better you also have to use classification codes so in this case we'll find out the classification codes related to helmet okay, so how will you find so first think of, of helmet and see then that which of these set, sections seems appropriate for the category of helmet so a human necessities now it seems relevant to helmet performing operations transporting uh, maybe transporting can be, you know also relevant to helmet chemistry metallurgy might not be relevant textiles paper might not be relevant fixed constructions uh, might be relevant in case uh, we are talking about helmet that are related in uh, related to you know construction field so that kind of helmets might be covered in this category then mechanical engineering might be relevant lighting heating weapons uh, these might not be that relevant Physics also, I don't think it might be relevant. Electricity uh, might not be relevant. So we'll go to human necessities because that looks like the most relevant uh, section for it. So now in case you want to open this, you have to just click on this plus sign. So you can see, right? This section has opened into further subsections. So A01, this is all referred to as subsections. Okay, now we'll, we'll again understand or go through all of these. So there's agriculture, which is not relevant to helmet. Foodstuffs, tobacco is not relevant to helmet. Uh, personal or domestic articles is relevant, can be relevant. 
So if this seems relevant, we'll further dig down and see. You can see wearing apparel is not relevant, but headwear. Headwear is the, I think it's one of, I think that's the one, right? Because helmet is a headwear. So we'll click on the plus sign here. You can also see the other options. Uh, if you want to see if uh, you don't want to leave out anything, you can go through it. But in this case, I think helmet seems the most relevant one. So I'll just click on the plus sign in helmet. So now it has opened two more, uh, you know, further codes. So there is hats and head coverings, and then the manufacturing or trimming of head coverings. So A42, although both of them seem relevant, but let me just open A42B. Okay, so A42B has further opened these uh, sub codes. So there's hats, caps, hoods. That is not what we are looking for. Yeah. So A forty two B three slash zero zero refers to helmet slash uh, helmet covers. Okay, defense protection helmets. And I think that's the most relevant one because veils, holders is not relevant. We'll also check A forty two C. So manufacturing hats, manufacturing helmets by process. So this covers the manufacturing uh, processes of helmets, and this covers the helmets in general. So if you are searching for uh, Apple patents related to helmets, I think both of them can be used. So you can, you know, note down this A42B300 and then you can use it while, you know, in your search uh, strategy. I'll just for, again click on it and here you can see it has been further, uh, you know, narrowed down into subcategories. So there is parts, details, accessories of helmet, impact absorbing shells, chin straps. Now, if you are looking very specifically for something, let's say chin straps of helmet, you can use A42B3-08 uh, or maybe see face guards, face protection devices. But if you are generally looking for helmets, you can uh, use A42B3-00 and you can note this down and then again use it in your search strategy. So this is how you do. Right, this is one way. Now, what other ways are available? So, uh, so I, so let's check that out. Now, see if you see here, uh, let's say you did this, but you are not able to find out the, you know, where helmets are. It may be possible that uh, something a bit complicated, you might not find it in this classification code. So, what you can do is, you can see this search tag here. You can just click on it. And in here, you can write helmets. OK, and then you can just click on search. So you see there are so many uh, classification codes that have been opened. So you can just check a 42 B3 slash 00 is what we came to by searching through the flow chart. So a 42 B3 says helmet helmet covers. That is something we had found out, but let's see what others refer to. A62B18 slash zero. So these are gas helmets, which fall under breathing mask for helmet. So they are not specifically the automotive helmet, but then they are also helmets. So it depends on what kind of helmet you are searching for, right? Let's go back. Let's check out F41H1 slash zero four. So this is related to armor, armor turrets or armed vehicles. So these are helmets which are used in the uh, defense services. So let's check the fourth one. B63. So this is equipment for dwelling or working underwater, means for searching underwater job with rigid helmets. So these are like underwater helmets. So you can see, right? You you understand that they, these there are so many options of score of helmets, and you can use all these classification codes based on the kind of helmet you are looking for. So that is how you uh, find out the relevant IPC code, which you can further use for conducting relevant patent search. So uh, that was it in this video. Uh, we'll meet again for understanding more about IPR and other patent related topics. Thank you.